Don't look already lah, very scary. The train is now moving above us. Hey guys, it's Kate and Z and, and other, other adventures. adventures and we're on an 81 day van life road trip through the USA. Today we're in Chicago, a city in Illinois known for its architecture, museums and food. Specifically, their hot dogs and deep dish pizzas. We're on a tight budget here, so let's be real frugal. I'm gonna call this episode Chicago for Cheapos. Let's go! So this is where we're parking. It looks safe, right? It's gated and everything, and you have to pay. We'll leave the car here for the day and walk around. Cool. Beanie boy! Yeah, it's so warm. <gasps> so cute. This Divi bike sharing system was the first thing I noticed. It's obvious Chicago really encourages their people to cycle. With 250 miles of bike lanes and more than 13,000 bike racks across the city, I can tell why it's appealing. But we're exploring Chicago by foot because walking is free. Actually, it's because we need the exercise, lah, huh? eat so much. While we're walking, this caught my eye. Doesn't it look like it came out of a Tim Burton movie? It's one of the Van Buren Street Station's entrances. Cool thing is, it's based on the famous Art Nouveau Metro entrances by Hector Guimar. This specific entrance to the Van Buren Station was given to Chicago by the City of Paris in 2001. It was real nice soaking in the sights and sounds of bustling Chicago. These guys are the mounted patrol unit within the Chicago Police Department. They are apparently great for crowd control in cities. Aww. Aww. This is the Arts Institution of Chicago in Grant Park. Housing about 300,000 artworks, it is one of the oldest and largest art museums in the world. Even this famous painting, American Gothic, is kept in the Arts Institution. Wait a second, I smell something. Oh my god, Zina, there's food trucks! I want to get a hot dog to share. So many hot dogs to choose from. Let's see what Z wants. Can we do the bratwurst? Yeah. And can we do all the toppings with spicy ketchup and mustard? Hey, this hot dog questionable looking lay. This is a uh, bratwurst with all the fixings with spicy ketchup and mustard. Wait, what's all the fixings? Grilled onions, sauerkraut, peppers, and onions. Mmm. I don't usually like sauerkraut, but this is so good. I have to say though, I'm not a big fan of bratwurst. I prefer like Italian sausage a bit more. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Because bratwurst is a lot more parts that you don't know. <laughs> Whereas the Italian, I think, has more meat. But America never fails to disappoint on the buns. They're always ultra soft. Ultra fluffy. After filling our bellies, we're here at Millennium Park. This place used to be cluttered with railroads and parking lots, but now it's Chicago's biggest free attraction. Great for cheapos, don't you think? This isn't just some typical LCD display. Leh. It's actually the work of Spanish artist, don't know how to say his name, called Crown Fountain. He was inspired by historic fountains that have gargoyles with water spouting out of their open mouths. His version is basically two 50-foot glass block towers which shows Chicago residents spewing water out of their mouths. Hey, it's the Cloud Gate! Because of its mirrored surfaces, you can see the amazing reflection of Chicago's skyline, which is exactly how it got its name. Can you guess how much it weighs? Never mind, never mind, I tell you. 110 tons! That's about 100,000 kilos le. Oh wow, so trippy. Oh, what? That is so scary. Hi! Yay, people wave. <laughs> yeah, 
definitely better in the summer. The Buckingham Fountain is actually beautiful when it's operational. It's one of the biggest fountains in the world with a wedding cake inspired design. The size is meant to symbolize the enormity of Lake Michigan. The Art Deco style seahorses in front of it represents the four states bordering Lake Michigan. Since it's pretty underwhelming here, let's head to Navy Pier. It was officially renamed from Municipal Pier in 1927 as a tribute to the Navy personnel who were housed in the pier during World War I. Before we came to Chicago, I googled why it was called the Windy City and this came up. So, Chicago got its nickname the Windy City because they howly and see ya. But actually, considering how much wind there is, I'm pretty sure it's just called the Windy City because it's very windy. Hey Z, do you know what time it is? It's pizza, pizza time. time! In Chicago, they're rightly proud of their deep dish style of pizza. And so, they had a public vote to determine which restaurants served up the best. With 51% of the vote, Lou Malnati's beat out other Chicago deep dish staples like Pizzeria Uno, Gino's East, and Giordano's. If you're not on a budget, you can try them all, uh, but we were. So we picked the top two, huh? In the red corner, Lou Malnati's! Founded by the son of Rudy Malnati, who was instrumental in developing the recipe for Chicago-style pizza. The crust is very deep, creating a very thick pizza that resembles a pie or a lasagna more than a flatbread New York-style pizza. Their family's secret recipe for flaky, buttery crust has been passed down from generations le. Oh yeah. Let's go. Once again, you know it's good because the crowd is crazy. The dine-in is uh, an hour and a half and uh, takeout is half an hour. So that's what we're gonna do, takeout. And in the blue corner, Pizzeria Uno! Ike Sewell opened the first Pizzeria Uno in 1943. He created a recipe that was made of Italian spices and tomatoes with more cheese than people could ever imagine. But what's special is that customers described his recipe as out of this world because of its buttery crust. That's what they were competing over. Let's do it, Z. We will finally know which one is better. Oh. They don't open like oh. the pizza boxes in Singapore. Oh no, I got it, I got it. Look how thick that is. This is not a pizza, it is a pie. Okay, so this one from Pizzeria Uno is the Numero Uno. They also say it's the original deep dish pizza from Chicago, but you know, I'm gonna let you internet people decide if that's really true. It's true, leh. Legend has it that Chicago-style deep dish pizza was invented at Pizzeria Uno in Chicago in 1943. They even have plug and everything, no? What? This is too big and too... It's too watery. Ah, it's very hot. <laughs> Look at all the juice. Something is very different about the crust. It feels almost biscuity on the outside. I love how saucy it is. Yeah? Does it need the sauce? It needs the sauce because it's so bready. Now it's time for Lou Malnati's pizza. Cheese pull, my friends! Cheese pull! Oh my god. I don't know about you, but for me, that is already a winner. The base is firmer. Cheese is super flavorful. The other pizza to me was a sloppy pizza. It tastes good, the crust is different, it's very juicy, but Lou Malnati's pizza has that perfect cheese pull. It's a clear winner. Even without the sauce, Lou Malnati's pizza is the best between these two pizzas. I really like that it's not like a cakey crust, not too thick. I like this one. Lou Manali's is the better pizza. Coming to Chicago, come and get this one. It's just a better flavor. Better crust. It's a matter of what ingredient they layer under. 
blue malnati's put the cheese between the crust and the sauce which acts as a barrier so that the, the crust doesn't get too soggy and it is still juicy so if you really like very juicy pizzas and you're not opposed to it being messy or sloppy i think pizzeria uno is amazing but if you like the cheese pole and you like a lot of cheese and you know a firmer crust then definitely get uh, Lou Malnati's pizza and get one of these sauces. Great for dipping the pizza in. While we're eating, let me tell you our total expenses for the day. And it is $78. That's 106 70 Singapore dollars. I think it's pretty damn good considering we had an extremely eventful day. Thank you, Chicago. So we're back in our van. I just went to the bathroom and I flushed and I was like, wait a second, this is the first time I've ever been able to like see the level. We really need to empty out our tanks right so now. So our black water tank has like thawed out. We haven't been able to empty our black water tank for more than a week now since it was Thanksgiving and nothing was open and our tank actually froze in Wisconsin's blistering winter. And yeah. is overflowing. It's not quite overflowing yet, but it's it's there. there. I mean, we need to do this today. We have so. to do this today or just like... Or we don't... We don't your poop in here. Basically, you have to pay for this. This one is $10, unfortunately, but uh, it is what it is. I'm going to take out the little tube. The tube is located under the van. We attach it securely to the other side and stretch it so it reaches the dump station sewage hole. Sometimes it's really tight, so I can't do it myself. I did it! Now, just to wait for Zenas to come back after he's paid. I used to be so grossed out by clearing my own black water tank, but now I'm so used to it and I feel I've accomplished something. Good job, City Kate. Zenas back. Are we ready? Yep, let's do it. After we've paid to dump, you get a code that unlocks the sewage latch. Ready to go. Oh man. Based upon the color, we didn't Oh boy. Gross. Yeah. So we're doing that because there's a curb here. We're trying to use gravity to get all this stuff through that tube into there. We will dump the black water first and then we'll dump the grey water. The grey water is basically bathing water so it's got a little bit of soap inside. We always hope it's gonna clean out the tube after we dump the black water tank. So I just turned our water on here as you can see because what we want to do is just fill our grey water tanks a little bit more so when we flush it out, it flushes them. Alright Chicago, you are marvellous. Thank you so much for our day tour around the downtown area. Please remember to like this video if it helped you to decide which pizza to try in <laughs> Chicago. And remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss our next episode which is... Actually, we still don't know this. Someone will edit it in here. Something like that. <laughs> Was that good? Am I hired? See you next time! <laughs> we saw a white castle on the way and we had to stop. And that's how I get these hips. I don't need any more hips. Jeez.